start with opening statement? Yeah, you bet. Um, first of all, just uh, another big night for uh, the 2022 Huskies. And uh, just can't say enough. And it, it starts with these guys up here. And then, you know, they all played huge, huge roles in what happened tonight. Uh, think back to the highlights and all that. But uh, I'm so proud of our football team. Um, just, uh, you know, tonight was a culmination, I think, of everything that we've worked on. You know, the things that we've tried to improve, um, you know, uh, especially in the latter half of the season. You know, you saw uh, our physicality, I think, uh, you know, take that next step. And um, finding a way to win is something uh, that, uh, you know, I think we've we've uh, really emphasized and, and uh, told the guys last night, if it's a close game, you know, we're going to find a way to win. And, and uh, kind of that refuse to lose uh, mantra has been a piece of uh, what we've, um, we've talked about a lot too. So super proud of this team, super proud of these guys up here. Questions for the table? Front row. With the fourth down attempts, three fourth down attempts, um, Two, two for three conversions, but what does that say about your confidence in the offense and really wanting to keep them on the field? Yeah, I mean, um, I think all season, you know, it's been one of those things uh, where you pick and choose the right times and, and uh, you know, um, you know, you got the, the ball in nine balls hands here. You're going to, you know, win, a, win most of them, you know, and, uh, you know, he did a, he did a great job uh, executing along with the offense on the, the quarterback sneak. And then uh, the third, the the fourth and two, um, you know, just shows what Mike's able to do because you know he's booting away from his left hand, and uh, it's more natural to boot to the left. And he we had him booting to the right, and uh, he and Devin Culp, uh, you know, connecting um, just big play in the game. You know, just being able to stay on the field, and you know we're right there where uh, you know if we turn it over on downs, um, you know we're putting our defense in a tough spot. So. Uh, I thought we played a great team game. The defense got the stops, uh, you know, especially in the first half there. Um, you know, really kept us with that lead and that cushion. And I thought in the third quarter, the offense did a nice job in going into the fourth quarter, staying on the field and, and finding a ways to convert and, uh, you know, finish drives. Front row. Yeah, Coach, for you, another night that Mike was kept clean. Just how special is this offensive line? And Mike, for you, what have they meant to you this season? Yeah, um, I mean, it, it's just all season long, right? I mean, they, they've uh, they've been, you know, an extension. And Mike understands uh, just, you know, where where a protection might be vulnerable. He's, uh, you know, directing traffic, first of all. And, and they're just entrusting him uh, that what he sees, they'll just, uh, you know, pick it up. And, um, you know, just he knows where to go with the football. The receivers get open quick when they need to. Um, it takes the whole offense to, to keep Mike upright. And, uh, you know, the offensive line, though, has, uh, has been just so solid. Uh, Coach Scott Huff and, and the offensive line, um, you know, every, every day I think they just had this chip on their shoulder from last year and, uh, you know, um, continued to build. And, you know, by midseason, I think we had this, uh, this level of confidence and understanding of what we could be. And, uh, you know, they kept uh, just every week, you know, working so hard, bringing it every day. And um, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, I said it before, you know, it's just the work that those guys put in. You know, when I first came here in the off season, just seeing those guys always doing extra work, you know, after our hard workouts, you know, it just showed, showed how much they wanted, how much they wanted to be successful. You know, they, they feed off of each other's energy and they, they always push each other. And they have that mindset where it's like, my guy isn't going to get the mic. And, you know, uh, whenever I hear them talking about that, I'm like, hey, man, I love being back here. Y'all just continue to give me uh, time. I'm continue to uh, keep delivering passes. And with the uh, receivers that we have, you know, we're always going to make great plays. You know, um, the running backs as well and the pass protection as well, they've been doing an amazing job. And even outside, out of the backfield, you know, I know Wayne had a couple catches today, you know, just uh, being explosive out of the backfield, you know, in the run and the pass, you know. But obviously, yeah, it starts with the offensive line. And those guys have been working extremely hard from day one. Front row, middle. Yeah, and I, this one I'll go with, with Michael and then Wayne. Just the third quarter and then those long drives. How, what was working for you in the ability to sustain those long drives? Man, just continue to believe and just continue to uh, believe in our preparation. You know, um, I feel like we, we prepare the best out, in, out of everybody in the country, you know, and, you know, that's, that starts with officer coordinator, you know, Coach Grubb, you know, he, he makes sure that we're always, um, 
uh, always know what the situation is, you know, and every time we snap the ball, you know, each and every guy, they know their assignment. They know what, what to do to be able to be successful in that place. So, you know, it starts with the preparation and just continue to have a one and no mindset. You know, um, obviously early on it wasn't it wasn't uh, clean and we wish we uh, we did a lot better. But at the same time, we knew that this team and this offense was, wasn't going to um, stop. You know, we're going to continue to keep swinging. And uh, we knew that those punches we we're going to throw there, they're going to end up uh, landing real big. Yeah, we also talked about how every play has a new life. And so, you know, if we were to mess up in one play, we knew that we were going to come back and, and, you know, get it right the next time. And so it was just trusting each other, uh, trusting the guy next to you that they was going to do their job. And, and you can see it, you know, Mike throwing the ball, receivers catching it, O-line blocking. Uh, we all try to work uh, together just to make it successful. And we kept moving the ball, which was really good. And um, again, at the end of the day, it's all about us and our preparation and our details um, and our hard work. And it really showed out. Thank you, Mike. Then Wayne, front. Yeah, Kalen, uh, on the fourth and two conversion, you know, McAllister ran out there at first and then Texas calls a timeout. Was the plan to punt there and did you change your mind? What was the thought process as you eventually went for it? Uh, we had a, um, we had a uh, kind of, um, I don't know how you word it. We had, a, we had some situations that we could work through uh, depending on what they were going to give us. And, uh, you know, once they called the timeout, then, uh, you know, it really felt like we had a good play call, you know, talking to Coach Grubb. And it gave us some more time to really kind of work through and give me a chance to, to think about what, uh, you know, what the, the pros and cons were. And, uh, um, you know, again, putting the ball in Mike's hands. And, and I, I really liked the idea of moving the pocket and getting him outside where he could run and, and pass. And, uh, you know, he did a nice job executing Devin, you know, securing the catch and, and getting the first down. Front row. Mike, after the game, you're, you're out there with your whole family, and I mean, Texas fans are asking you for pictures and stuff. Just what, what was that moment like to, to celebrate with your team and to, to kind of get a chance to soak everything in and, and enjoy what you guys accomplished this year? Yeah, um, it was amazing. You know, uh, a lot of people know that. You know, my immediate family, like my mom and dad and them, they, they weren't able to make their flights. But, you know, nothing was stopping them from coming to see me play, you know. And, you know, um, man, I, I love them so much. You know, they've they been that supportive all throughout my life, you know. So each and every chance I get, I tell them I love them, try to get them hugs and stuff. But, you know, um, just having that support, you know, and co going all the way to Seattle um, and just going there and just having that family feel as well, you know. It was just an amazing thing. And, you know, I, I'm glad to be in this position. I'm glad to be a dog. And... Um, it is definitely it was an amazing experience. Second row. So you guys have a, a seven game win streak and you've beaten Oregon and Washington State, now Texas. Do you feel like you want to go on next week and play another one? I mean, <laughs> you got so much momentum going right now. Braylon, I see you nodding. For sure, I mean, this momentum we built up from all these wins and all this hard work we put in, I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I could go out and play another game. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Middle, second row. Michael, when did you know uh, that the flea flicker was going to be the first call of the game? And then can you talk about not only that play, but some of the other deep balls and how it influenced um, plays down the road and really softened up the defense for the running game and the underneath stuff? Yeah, um, Wayne might get a little salty. Uh, other players, if they see this, they might get a little salty. But Coach Grubb, he, he actually told me yesterday, he was like, this is going to be the play. Don't tell nobody. We just want to, you know, just go out there and execute it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was, today in walkthroughs, I almost told Wayne, and I was just like, nah, I can't do it. I'm not going to lie. I said, huh? <laughs> Wayne said, yeah, Frankenstein. I said, huh? Uh, yeah, no. Nah, so I told, yeah, I told Coach Grubb might be mad. I told, <laughs> I told Wayne whenever we went out as captains, I was like, hey, we going Frankenstein first. <laughs> so uh, I held it as long as I could. But, um, yeah, we, we knew we were going to do it. And uh, we practiced it all week long. And we knew that um, the execution was going was gonna to be clean. So J uh, Jalen Pope making an amazing catch on that one, you know, taking the hit as well. You know, um, the offensive line giving me time to be able to uh, throw the ball on, on that situation. It was amazing. Yeah, um, obviously, you know, just starting the game off fast, you know, um, gave us a lot of momentum, you know, but 
Um, even on that drive, you know, it, it didn't end right. I threw an interception, but just continue to stay one and zero. Continue to push each other and uh, believe in each other. You know, the team, uh, my teammates, uh, always lifting me up and make sure that I wasn't soaking in on that one play. And you know, just making sure that next time we got the ball, we go put points on the board. Thank you. Second row end. Uh, this is for Kalen and Michael. Well, anyone can answer this, really. Um, I, I know, Kalen, you said after the game, you were asked about next season. You said, first, we're going to celebrate this one. But there's a whole lot of talent coming back. You guys are on this run. I think a lot of people are really excited. When you, when you look at what you guys are capable of, uh, you know, what, what do you see? Yeah, I, I uh, you know, I, you want to celebrate it because you got guys like Wayne who, you know, poured so much into this, and uh, you really want them to be able to enjoy and, and uh, celebrate with them, you know, what we've all accomplished. But um... Questions anymore? Second row. Right front row. Hey, Michael, when I was looking at this game, I kind of figured you were going to break a record about oh, middle to the late end of the second quarter, and, and you did. You, you now have the uh, season all-time passing yardage record. Could you talk about that? Yeah, um, it's amazing. Um... Obviously, I couldn't do it without the guys around me, you know, starting with Coach Grubb, you know, making the play calls, um, offensive line, blocking their tails off each and every play, giving me time in the pocket. And, you know, I always say, you know, we got receivers out there that's going, uh, we got takers out there that's going to go get the ball anytime it's in the air. So, you know, it, it makes it easy for me, you know, just going out there and, you know, just treat it just like practice, you know, just go out there, pitch and catch and um, continue to. Um, trust the process and continue to trust, you know, uh, the, the play calling and everything and our preparation and stuff like that so that we can go out there and execute that um, on game day. So it, it's, it wasn't really, you know, it, it's definitely a blessing, you know, that I was able to achieve that. But obviously I couldn't do it without the guys around me. Front row, middle. Braylon, got to ask you a couple questions. What was, yeah, what was the mindset of the defense in the fourth quarter? I mean, we just knew we had to keep playing uh, and nonstop motor. Uh, we got to just put a cap on them and finish the game out. Uh, so I think personally going into every series, I'm just mentally telling myself I just got to give everything I can and empty the tank every single time. And I know it kind of reflects on the rest of the defense because I know those guys can feel my energy. So I don't know. That's pretty much the mindset going in. No, not at all. We're always ready. I mean, uh, me and my guys up front, we're always ready for a battle. So, Any final questions? Let's go two more. Middle. Um, both Michael and Wayne, can you just break down uh, Wayne's 42-yard touchdown run? Was that uh, the play call? Did you check down to that? And what did you see? And can you just break it down for us, Wayne? Yeah, um, it was just one of our simple zone plays. You know, I have a run pass option on that. Um, but, you know, just trying to fill out the game, feel how they, they um, adjusted and reacted to our pass option. You know, I, I was like, okay, I'm going to hand it off this time, see how they adjust to it. And, you know, I know handing it off to Wayne, we had a good box, and he, he'll make anything happen, you know, with the ball in his hands. So, man, it was a hole, and he took it, and uh, – Paul. And <laughs> that stiff one, I ain't, I saw it. I, I couldn't see it on the field really, but I saw it on the replay. But man, yeah, he he got somebody with a stiff form too, and put, put the burners on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whereas, <laughs> so I got in the ball, and the O line just cleared up, you know, a big way. I told him, you know, it opened up like the Red Sea, which was perfect. Um, but I think, you know, Mike in the passing game kind of softened him up in the run game. So once we had the opportunity, just took it and. You know, I had to score. I had no choice, and you know, just just glad that Mike trusts me with the ball. And uh, I know he's explosive, but I, you know, try to do the same. And you know, just blessed uh, to have a great O line uh, pushing up and you know, opening everything up for me. So yeah, it worked out perfectly. <laughs> Thank you, Wayne. We'll go two more questions. Front row, right, middle, middle front, then. All right, you guys targeted Taj Davis a lot more uh, tonight than I feel like any other game. Was that part of the game plan this week, or did that just kind of open up as, as other things happened during the game? He's a beast. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, Taj is a guy that that comes to practice every day and works hard. You know, um, he's a guy that you know a lot of people don't really hear too much about. You know, you say that. We don't, we don't really target him much, but he's a guy that when he's out there on the field, you know, I have no doubt in my mind that he's, he knows what to do and he's going to make a big play. So, um, yeah, early, early on in the game, yeah, we were targeting him. And, you know, throughout the game, 
but he just shows it every day in practice. You know, his work that work ethic and uh, everything he does in, in practice, you know, it, it makes a difference. It shows on on the game field as well. And also um Jalen Polk, you know, he he was um battling through some stuff as well. So, you know, that that got Taj on the field a lot more. You know, th those guys are playing in the same position, but you know, once once we know um we had one guy down, you know, we we already knew that we have people that's going to step up and Taj was able to step up and uh, made a lot of good plays for us. Thank you. One last question. Just curious what happened to Cam Davis. Did he get hurt down here? Yeah, he just got it's it's really unfortunate. He got dinged up a couple of days ago. You know, just um you know, non contact day for us really and just um you know, just uh one guy zigs and one guy zags and you know, you get dinged up just enough to where um he wasn't able to go tonight. So it's nothing serious and um feel bad for him because uh he works so hard every day and um you know, uh, he's been a good, you know, he's been a good counterattack to, to Wayne and uh, the way they've operated all season long. Thank you, Coach DeBoer players. May we pose for one final group to post shot together? Yep. Yeah. Is there one? Can we get back? Oh, a picture?